I'm Brian Brush, and we're getting down to the brass tacks and hard facts and nozzle whip. We're going to discuss and demonstrate nozzle whip. Nozzle whip is pretty much a slang term for unsupported nozzle reaction. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. The action of the volume of water leaving the nozzle under pressure creates a force back on us. That's the nozzle reaction. That nozzle reaction is transmitted through this nozzle. The nozzle has mass and it's rigid all the way back to this coupling. Then we have this space here where the hose is dynamic, it's soft, it's pliable, and then you find my hands here where we pick up that force. This right here is the weak link in the chain. Now, some of the contributing factors, pressure, hose construction, these are variables which will affect the magnitude of that whip. But a lot of these contributing factors can be overcome with good technique. So let's observe it real quickly here. Rigid, mass, my contact, weak link. In a controlled environment with minimal movement, you can see that starts to develop. Under more dramatic activity or increased pressures, this has the potential to be magnified through those counter reactions and slap the operator in the face. On the inch and three quarter line with the smaller trunk, we need to choke up on our operation and support it completely. By having my fingers forward, I'm taking that rigid system and providing a spine down the line down my hands and back into my body where that nozzle reaction is received. So let's observe it in action. We're going to again choke up on it, support, continuous spine all the way back. You'll see we now have rigidness in the nozzle, the coupling, supported that by that spine, nozzle reaction being transmitted back down those hands, into my arm, into the leg, and down into the ground. The force is also coming into the center mass of my body. Again, we've eliminated that whip by completely supporting the nozzle reaction. Open up, support. We're still getting just as much active play in the line, a very dynamic nozzle, but we don't run the risk of that uncontrolled force and that injury to the nozzle operator. Transitioning from a position like this to using our leg as a clamp or pin, nozzle reaction needs to be supported as well. I come to a position where I'm taking that nozzle reaction into the ground by using my leg as a pin. We don't want to be back here leaving that weak point where we have that nozzle whip created. With the inch and three quarter line, it's important for us to just choke up a little bit, provide that continuous support. We'll still get a dynamic line, active nozzle. We just won't run the risk of that uncontrolled reaction. So once again, several contributing factors. The attack package is a complete system. Hardware, software, and humans. Let's try to overcome any variables with good technique and sound practice and training and not just find a scapegoat.